What's up, GQ? I'm Damar Hamlin, and these are my essentials. Okay, so for this essential right here, it's gonna be my snack. <laughs> Them honey buns. And me and these honey buns, we go way back. These honey buns is definitely number one. If you know me, you know. Greasy cups, top of the line. Been with me since day one, ask my mother. I call all these right here, my trench chips. If you was there, you would know. All them corner store runs where mom Dukes want you to go get whatever she want off the menu and you come back with no change. This is, what you, this is what you spent it on. Yes, I love to take care of my body and you know, I have a healthy routine of, you know, everything I'm doing to make sure my body's where I need to be. But you know, these snacks have been with me for the longest time. Okay, so this next essential, one of the most essential to me is for surely my family in particular, my little brother. Actually, let me hit him up right now and see if that answer. He on his way to football practice, so I gotta try to catch him quick. What's up, bro? Uh, Say what's up. Let me hit you later after practice. I always wanted a little brother in the crib. I hated being the only child. All the attention, all the pressure, all the stress was always on me. So I prayed for another sibling. He was a big part of my decisions early on in his life, and he still is. And I can't wait till, you know. 10 years from now, when I'm done playing and I'm at his games, watching him play just as a fan, I can't wait to enjoy that part of my life. So I got a lot to look forward to. Self-care is like super big into, you know, having my mind in the right place, you know what I mean? We live a high stress level life at this point, you know, as an athlete, as an entrepreneur, just having those key moments with yourself, you know, just getting manicures, getting pedicures, whatever it may be. Um, it's just small things to take those stress levels down um, within yourself without you even knowing it. Um, but on top of that, you know, like daily routine stuff. One thing that I do daily is I take my vitamins. On top of that, I got my eye patches. So kind of, you can see a little bit, I got little bags under my eyes. That ain't because I'm not getting sleep. It's just kind of something that's like hereditary in my family. The impression I want to give off is, you know, I'm alert and I'm ready all the time. I don't want nobody thinking I'm slipping or I'm tired and I'm, you know, whatever the, whatever the morning may bring. I start my day off 10 minutes a day with these things right here. All right, yeah, I think that's about 10 minutes. Uh, uh, them things be gone. It might be the smallest one of them all, but it could be one of the most important, a hair tie. Man, one thing about me is it's rare when I have my hair down and in my face like this. So all day long, I'm like this. On top of that, you know, you can style it some different ways. You can pick it up, you can go here. If you're trying to get in that shower or something, you want it all off of you, put it up like this. You just want a little different look for a little time to time. Bring them down. You switch it up, you know what I mean? A hair tie, it'll, it'll, it'll take you some places that you can't go on your own, so. Mm. This is that splat. So this right here is my clothing line. This is Chasing Millions, LLC. This is me. I started my clothing line in 2017, my sophomore year of college. This is a piece that I did over the summertime, the Chasing Them Scatter hoodie. And it just got a bunch of different quotes and different logos of mine. Some that we scrapped a while ago that we never did and some that are our main force. One of my favorite lines, man, on here is, you passed me up, now I'm a superstar. This is my kind of for-profit, but alongside this, I have a nonprofit that I started as well, the Chasing Them Foundation. This past year, we started our CPR tour where we went to Buffalo twice, Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, you know, all in one year. Short year, very little time to, you know, really truly make a difference, but we're already planning for 2024 and just trying to make it an epic year as far as just making the CPR awareness so big. You know, not everybody will be in the situation that I was in. 
protected with a thousand, you know, professionals around and, you know, so, so many people that's well equipped for a moment like that. The clothing means a lot to me, but the foundation is truly a special place in my heart, no pun intended. And you know I can't go too far without my JGs, man. My John Geigers. These right here, something special to me, man. This is not only a designer, this is a brother of mine, a truly close friend, someone that's from the same neighborhood I am. So, you know, he truly understands what it takes to make it out of McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania. These are a shoe that I wear anywhere and I get compliments on. If they don't know, they wanna know like, what's that? my collab with Beats that I gave my teammates. They got the three on the side with love from d -Ham. Three on the side, all white pair. That's, you know, we just rocking all white, you know. Music is just a way that you can express yourself without even saying much. I kind of always been like a more so quiet kid growing up. Like I was just more so reserved into myself, but you know, I would post music on my story and that's how I would like express what I was feeling in the moment or what I was going through at the time. To fast forward to now, you know, having my own Apple Music playlist, you could truly get my vibe off of listening to that playlist and things that, that mean something to me from there. My most important essential. My daily devotionals and the man above. I have this one. And this is Jesus Listens. It has a, you know, a verse, a nice little short reading for each day, you know, and it, and it has some small verses with it. This is something that when I came across it, you know, it, it changed my life. It's a book called Move, and it says a guide to get up and go forward. And that's pretty much really what it does. You know, it just, it gives you different ways to operate and it, it gives you action plans of how to go about your business. Q-tips, man, I can't make it through it like a day without these. Like if you know me, like I'm always itching my like throat, I'm, I'm scratching my ear. I don't know what it is. I got bad allergies or something, but it, it might be hereditary from my mom. I'm blaming her. Nothing gets that spot like a Q-tip, you know what I'm saying? So all my friends, they, they clown me for it. They laugh at me about it. They'll hear me making noises, <sighs> trying to get that spot because I'm I'm going through it. I'm stressing, like, <laughs> I'm stressing. But like my closest friends know, they know like this is one thing that, <laughs> this is like my, this is like my weird essential. This is my weird essential because I need it. My next essential, man, these things, these two things right here are like my life. So this is my personal number. This here is like kind of more so businessy. Just having two phones, it kind of helps me separate the worlds a little bit and you know, to where, you know, business can be business and personal can be personal. You won't catch me nowhere without these. If I don't got my phones on me, something wrong. But my last essential, my wallet, the Louis V, blue crocodile joint. It was a gift from a very special person. I ain't got no cash in here. I got them cards though. I got my mom's <laughs> credit card on me. I think I've had it for a very long time. I don't know why, but I still got my mom's credit card. So might have to run her a little tab up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope through my essentials, you learned a little bit more about me and forever keep chasing them, man. Keep chasing the millions. Let's go.